This is a little different than when you're writing a desktop application, all right? Whereas your code can throw up an alert, all right? Or you can throw up a message box, all right? I believe if you put up a message box, it would pop up on the server, not on the client, all right? And therefore, you would want to use the client side. Yes? I'm not 100% sure, but when I was messing around, I don't even think it was an option for me to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm just speculating because, again, I've never tried it because it really doesn't make sense to do that. You have to, you have to put the messages out to the client, so this would be the way to do it. All right, so I think we got a reasonable update and delete. And I love when we get to this point in the class where I'm about to show a problem, but we don't have time to resolve it. This, again, this takes me back to cliffhangers, right? Whereas I'll, I'll, I'll set this up and you'll be so curious that you'll be Googling last year's lectures because you won't be able to sleep tonight until you get an answer to this. All right. Now, we added update, no problem. We added insert or delete, no problem. Or problems we knew how to deal with. Let's go in and let's try to add enable inserting. Because I made it a I made it a template column. So I have to go in and edit the template and allow for. I'm going to make the command associated with this insert because <coughs> that's what I want to do. All right. So now when I run this, Let's think of what I'd have to do to insert in this. All right, I'm at the grid. I want to insert it. I click details. I bring up this poll. Then I click insert. Okay. Um, I'm getting some kind of error on that. Obviously, um, I'm missing something. But we can still appreciate the problem that we're running into. All right. The fact is that, again, I am, in fact, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewind real quickly. I'm going to go in. Because normally you wouldn't add it incrementally, insert, update, and delete. Or maybe you would, I don't know. I'm going to go in and go to delete this template field, and I'll recreate it. Enable insert, editing and deleting. All right. Then I'll go edit fields, convert into a template. And I'll 
put this back in. So now, let's go in and imagine the workflow if you wanted to add a new poll. I'd have to bring this up, I'd have to click an existing poll, and then I'd have to click new. That sounds goofy, right? Plus it begs the question, how would I add the first poll when there wasn't a grid view that had a link to this details page to pull up something to click new. This is where the grid view sort of gets clunky. Delete and edit both make sense because they to have those together, all right, on a grid view. Because you can either you pull up a row, you can either edit it or you can delete it. All right, makes sense, right? New doesn't really make sense there. All right. So we're going to have to think of how to handle that. All right, and that will be the topic that we'll explore next time. In other words, the problem relates to the fact that edit and delete require a row to be there, insert inserts a brand new empty row, and those two kind of don't really mix together. So we'll have to figure out a way to make this work. All right, and that's what we'll do next time. All right, we'll see you over in lab. Well, the one the one is for the poll table, the, the one the, the, the table that I'm editing, okay. and the one is for the list of categories that's, that is used for the drop down. Right. If you remember in edit view, uh, well in item view and in edit view, I have a drop down for categories. That drop down is from a different data source, so therefore I have the the data source. Does anyone have a thumb drive I can borrow?